All right, hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. We're gonna work more on Unreal Engine 4. And I'm gonna show you today how to use uh, saved game data to preserve certain variables in your game. So if you ever want things to save and players coming back to it and starting where they left off, that kind of thing. Uh, like all the tutorials we've been doing so far, it's gonna be a very basic example to get you going. But let me show you what we got. See the scene with the guy running around. But if we hit the, the number five key, it starts counting. Right now it's at number six, but let me hit the C key that will clear any save data data. And then if we start it, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if we back it out and play it again, we hit five. It should start at ten, which it does. And then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Come back to it. And then all the way to 23. And then I hit the C key and then it starts over. So that's the very basic thing we're going to make today. So let's go ahead. We're going to start from scratch. So empty level. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call this touch underscore save game. And then make this unlit. Let's drag out a box. Let's make its dimensions 2,000 by 2,000, oops, and then by 50. Let's add a light in here. And then make this 3,000 for the radius, move it to the center. And then let's go into our content browser. We have a few things in here. Uh, we're going to delete these. And we also have game actor. Let's so we'll delete that. Everything else is from you know previous previous tutorials. Let me save everything here. Oh, oh, oh things are broken. <laughs> Let me go into here. Ah, it'll be okay. I think it's just because. I had other things open that that's breaking, so we'll just move forward. Let's go to our content browser. The very first thing we need to make is a blueprint for saved game data. So let's go to blueprint, and then under custom classes, we're going to type in save. Get saved game, select that. I'm just going to call that BP main save. And I got to put that to my blueprints folder. Let's go ahead and open that up. And then it's in this blueprint where we're going to create the variable we want. So for us right now, we're going to use an integer. We're just going to call this saved number. Compile that and save it. Now we got to create another blueprint. This one will be an actor in the level to reference. So it's going to be an actor. We're going to call it BP saved game actor throw that into our blueprints folder throw that into tutorials and now let's grab him and we're going to give him a billboard just name that root compile save that and then let's throw him in here just so we have a reference, just make it big so we can see them. So now we got that in our level. That's fine. So now it's really primarily in this main actor that we're going to do a lot of the functionality that we need. So go into his graph. We're going to do a begin play. So I'll just type in begin play. And as soon as the game starts, we want to ask ourselves, hey, is there a game saved already? So we got to look for a save game slot. So we're going to look for does game slot exist. And then we're going to branch. So if there does, if there is one that exists, we're going to have a flow for that. Uh, but if there isn't one that exists, we've got to create a flow for creating that one. So the first thing we're going to do is the one where we need to create a game slot. So under false, where none exists, we click create. We're going to do create save game object. And then we basically got to grab BP main save. 
that's the save game blueprint. And then from here, we're going to promote that to a variable. We're going to call it save game. We'll just call it save game. That's all we really need to do. And then now that we have a reference to it that we set, we can get that variable, cast it to the actual blueprint, the save game blueprint we made at the very beginning. And then we're going to set that variable in the main save, the save number. We're going to set that to zero because we just created the save. So let's go to variables default. Let's set save number. And we're going to leave the default at zero. And that's all we have to do for that section. But now, let's say, for example, hey, we do have a game slot. That's what we're going to do at this point. Well, the first thing we got to do is load it. We got to give it a slot name. So I'm just going to call this. Um, Save game. Now we kind of got to set that variable again. So let's just do set. Actually, no, it'll be under here. Set save game. Plug that in. And then we got to cast it again. Plug that in. And then basically, I this point we basically gotta tell it hey we gotta load the saved number so let's get it get saved actually under here let's do get saved number and then in the actual actor the saved game actor where we're gonna hold the point values we gotta create a new variable it's gonna be int we're just gonna call this actor number and then we're gonna set the actor number to the save number, whatever that may be. So at that point, that's the main logic. That's the main overhaul of the save game data on a very basic level. Uh, but now what we need to do, let's create a custom event. We'll call this add to actor number. And then we're going to grab our actor number. We're going to hit the plus sign so we can add an integer to it. Just gonna add the number one. And then we're gonna set the actor number to that result. So if actor number is zero, like it is at the default, we add one to it, and then actor number then becomes number one, and then two, three, you know, so on and so forth. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna print a string here. We're gonna get a copy of the actor number variable, plug that in. And now we basically got to set this number, the act number, we got to set it to the saved number. So we got to grab a copy of our saved game data. We got to cast it. And we're going to do set saved number. Let's get another actor number reference variable. Plug that into saved number. And then the last thing we need to do is actually save that to the slot. So save game to slot and then the same game object is going to be this variable so plug that into that and then the slot name is going to be the name that we named up here just saved game so we're plugging that in compile that and now all we need to do is have a way to call the add to actor number custom event so that's what we got to do in the main level blueprint so let's go to Blueprint, open the Blueprint. The first thing we need to do, it's going to be a begin play. We basically need to grab a reference to that actor, the saved game actor. So we're going to grab out the get all actors of class, so save, and then BP save game actor. Out of this out actors, so let's get, get every single one. Do that and let's cast it to the save game actor. Plug that in. And then we gotta just make it we gotta make it a variable. Let's do save game actor reference. And now what we want to do. Um, for my tutorial here, uh, the the event, the keyboard event is going to be present at number five. Let's do input. 
Actually, instead of doing the number five, let's do the letter Z. And then grabbing our actor reference for the save game, let's type in add, and do add to actor number. Press that. And then what we're going to do next, we're going to set it up so we can clear the saved game data. So we're going to get the letter C. That's going to be our initial event. And let's grab this reference actor. But then we need to get our save game. And we need to cast that. And then now we need to set, or actually under here, set save number, save it to zero. And then let's grab this again. And then we're going to do save game to slot, put into that. And now we need to get our name again for our save slot. So we named it save game. And also make sure it's in the does save game slot exists. So save game. And back in the actual level blueprint, put that in. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our save game actor reference. And we're going to set actor number to zero as well. So we make everything zero again when we press the letter C. So let's compile that. Let's save everything. Now let's play. So we did the letter Z. If I press it once, we got the number one. Press it again, we got the number two. Three, four, five, six, so on. But now if we hit escape and we come back in, if we hit the letter Z, it picks up where we left off. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We come back in. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But then we hit the letter C and then press Z again to start over. So we got everything working the way it needs to. We have an integer being saved. We have the saved game data, and it's in our game. And we can clear it. We can add to it and save it for the next time. So that's a very, very basic comprehension of the saved game data. Um, but it's an, I think it's enough to get you going. Um, so that's going to be pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, so definitely like the video if you thought the content was good. Uh, comment with more suggestions of videos, or if you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't already. Definitely appreciate that. And then like the video and share the video, just so more people can check this out. So that's, like I said, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty quick tutorial. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.